Good afternoon. My name is Kaveh Razaghi. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Medline Canada. On behalf of all of us at Medline Canada, and particularly 140 colleagues who work here every day, welcome to the new Medline Canada Distribution Hub in Guelph. I would like to acknowledge that we are an ancestral homeland of the Anishinaabeg peoples, specifically the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Karedit First Nations. I am very pleased to welcome and introduce several very distinguished guests. The Honorable Doc Ford, Premier of Ontario. Welcome, Premier Ford. His Worship, Cam Guthrie, Mayor of Guelph. Welcome, Mr. Mayor. Also here today, Member of Parliament for Guelph, Lloyd Langfeld, welcome. The Member of Provincial Parliament for Guelph, Mike Schreiner, thank, welcome. MPP Mike Harris for Kitchener-Conestoga, welcome. I would also like to acknowledge the presence here of many of our valued customers and valued suppliers. Thank you for being here. It's with great honor and with a lot of excitement that we are conducting the inauguration of our new Medline Canada Guelph Distribution Center. This is an important milestone for Medline Canada and for the expansion and strengthening of the medical supply distribution network in Canada. We will have a brief session of speeches now, ending with the ceremoni ceremonial ribbon cutting over there, after which you are invited to stay for some light refreshments. With that, I am very pleased to introduce President of Medline Canada, Ernie Phillip. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. How's everyone doing? Good? You know me, right? I love energy. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Uh, Woohoo! What a great day. Um, thanks, uh, everyone, so much for coming. And as Kaveh said to our distinguished guests, I think the fact that we have the municipality, the province, and the federal government is a testament to our, our politicians of how we should work together as a, as a province, a municipality, and a country. So well done. Uh, Kavi mentioned we had some customers here. I saw some people, uh, some executives from Rivera, from Extendicare, Mohawk Medbuy, I think Health Pro. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting us. And thanks for helping Canadians all across the country through this pandemic. I have a great team. I have a really great team here in, uh, in Canada, and I feel very fortunate to Dave Fort, to Roger Bourbonnet, Antoinette Triambari, to Kavi Rizagi, Aaron Foster, Adib Matruk, Diane Reed, Diana Gazdar, Derek Roanish, and Jod Ajula. Thank you uh, for your tireless work over the last 19 months, for helping our customers, and I'm so grateful that you live our CARES values and live our passion, our passion for purpose at Medline, and our North Star is together improving the lives of Canadians. And you two and all of you did not let anybody down. So thank you for that. I also want to welcome uh, Brian Palmer. Brian Palmer is a senior executive from our international operations. You are a uh, extreme significant resource for me over the last 18 months. And anything that we needed with our board uh, Brian put his neck on the line every time. Uh, I can't thank you enough, Brian, and for being here. So thank you, Brian. Uh, it's been an interesting 19 months. Uh, it's been a challenge for all of us. Um, we 100% support, we 100 support our frontline healthcare workers who fiercely went to battle every single day to protect us from COVID-19. We are forever grateful for that. And we will not forget. We will not forget. At Medline, our frontline workers are the men and women that work in distribution centers like this all across the country. They are our frontline workers. These men and women lived our values and continued to come to work through the pandemic. If they did not, our supply chain would have shut down. It would have collapsed. To say that I'm proud of all of you uh, does not describe how I really feel. Uh, you delivered. I feel uh, very lucky as a leader of this company to have such a great team that did what you did every single day. I was on a Zoom call. I was at a Zoom call at home, 
and you were all here making sure critical supplies got out into the, the healthcare continuum. Uh, so proud of everybody here. A few, a few years ago, uh, people might not have paid much attention to our Canadian medical supply distribution network. Now we all recognize the importance, not just for our health and safety, that's obvious, but also to keep our overall economic and social activity going when we face serious health emergencies like we did. This new distribution center is an important network across Medline facilities all across Canada, which ensures Canadians will have unparalleled access to critical supplies when they need them, when they need them. We're very proud of what we do to help keep Canadians healthy and safe. And as a main hub here for Medline Canada, our Guelph Distribution Centre uh, does processes about 1,700 orders every single day. It's a 600,000 square foot facility. As I said to our neighbour to the south of us, we're going to build another 200,000 square feet, uh, which we might be doing some other interesting things. We have 25,000 products here. You know us from PPE, masks, gowns, gloves, sanitation. But when you really look around, you're going to see incontinence pro products, skin and wound, uh, many products that go into hospitals, sterile procedure trays, custom packs and gowns, things that are vital to keep our hospitals and the healthcare continuum moving. We realize the responsibility we have. We realize how important it is to be part of the medical supply chain across Canada and here, right here in Canada, in Ontario. Our investment in this new distribution centre is visible evidence of our commitment to efficiently meet the medical supply needs of Canadians while also creating jobs in Guelph and Ontario. We have lessons learned to be better. We're not perfect. We have lessons learned and we know we're going to be better in any future crisis. We will be honest. We'll always tell you the truth. Our, we, will, we are who we're going to be and you'll never have to guess. We will help and innovate with our hospitals to get through the backlog of procedures and we will make sure we have critical supplies physically located in Canada when Canadians need them. Medline Canada is also pleased to be a proud member of the dynamic business community here in Guelph. Big reason why we chose it. And our goal is to support local business initiatives while also creating great jobs for the local community and for people of Ontario. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown the important role of medical supplies, having keeping it our frontline workers and patients safety and health. Our distribution center is Health Canada certified, a LEED certified building, state-of-the-art logistics with a roadmap to even go further, has self-contained uh, uh, temperature controlled environments for safe storage of drugs and other medical, critical medical supplies. And as a key partner, we will continue to work with our customers and key provincial government institutions to meet their needs every single day. As you've heard us all before, and what makes a great company is a great culture, and our North Star, what we want to be at Medline Canada, and our passion is together improving the lives of Canadians. If anyone here makes a decision to together improve the lives of Canadians, you cannot make a bad decision. You cannot make a bad decision and we have your back. We have your back. There are examples of people in our retail store that had phone calls because an, uh, an elderly person couldn't put a wheelchair together. They didn't ask permission. They jumped in their car, drove to the person's house and put it together. We didn't leave an invoice. We didn't ask for a credit card. It's what good people do. It's what good companies do. We had uh, warehouse managers drive in their car and deliver feeding tubes to some long-term care facilities because we know what happens to our customers resident if they don't have a feeding tube. It's critically important that we, do, that we deliver when we say we're going to deliver. I can't thank everyone enough who is here today for this inaugural event. I really look forward to uh, having a chance to meet you uh, personally afterwards. You know, you probably love the Friday at 4 o'clock thing. Um, uh, but I, really what I'd like to do is uh, invite uh, the Premier, our Honourable Doug Ford, Premier of Ontario, to say a few things. Mr. Premier. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Well, first, first of all, Ernie, thank you. And thank you for that introduction and uh, very wise words uh, you were saying about the pandemic. 
I want to uh, acknowledge our, our colleagues, Mike Schneider, thank you for, for being here, uh, Mayor, our federal colleagues, and my all-star MPP, Mike Harris from Conestoga, <laughs> that uh, is crossing the turf a little bit, but it's great to help uh, your other colleague. It's like the Mike and Mike team here, <laughs> the blue and green team. But as, as, you, as you were saying, that's what we saw, Ernie, throughout this pandemic. Uh, does, it didn't matter what political stripe you came from, uh, we're working hand in hand with our federal colleagues, municipal colleagues, provincial colleagues, to get the job done. And the reason you do that, it's the right thing to do, first of all, but people expect it. People expect us to work together to get through this pandemic, and that's exactly what we did. And I have to thank the, the Medline uh, team and your entire team, Ernie. Nothing is more important uh, to companies and to our province than what you did. When all heck was breaking loose, and it was around the world, uh, as I was walking down there, you were, you were mentioning that, that your folks were in here delivering products door to door. I remember I hopped in my pickup once and you know, drove out to pick up some masks because that's what you had to do. It doesn't matter if you're the president of the company or a premier or whatever, you do what needs to be done uh, in, in the time that, that uh, at one point it was, it was pretty tough. But we've learned a tremendous amount of lessons. All of us have learned a lot of lessons across the world, but uh, across our country and especially across our province. And I said, we will never ever rely on anyone else uh, any longer. We're gonna make sure that we manufacture, we distribute, we have the ingenuity, we have the smarts, and, and we have the people. We have the greatest province anywhere, jurisdiction I should say, and province in my opinion, uh, anywhere in the world, right here. We're an economic powerhouse. And when I pulled up, and I remember talking to, to Ernie, and you were saying you were building a facility, and, and my jaw dropped when I saw the 600,000 square foot facility, and then I saw all the other facilities, and, and Mayor, uh, credit to you, thank you. Because nothing's more frustrating to business is trying to get through the bureaucracy and red tape trying to put that addition on, trying to employ more people, and you run up against barriers. Well, Mary, you've done a great job, and anything that we can help you with, by all means, uh, reach out. Because I can't wait to come here and cut the second ribbon for the other 200,000 square feet that uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna be uh, adding on. But th this, this cannot happen, uh, again, without the municipality, the province, and the federal government. But this cannot happen without infrastructure. Infrastructure is the single most important thing that we can do for people, no matter if it's broadband, uh, making sure there's connectivity, or building highways, making sure that we build highways to get not only people home a lot safer, but get goods, goods from point A to point B, and not having gridlock uh, on, on other highways and gridlock trying to get home. When you have these transport trailers lined up from here to Timbuktu, that's why we're building the 413, that's why we're building the Bradford Bypass. We're a government that's saying yes to infrastructure. We're spending over $145 billion making sure that we build the proper infrastructure, not just for tomorrow, but for our children and grandchildren until things can be a lot easier uh, for them. And our province is absolutely booming right now. We're an economic powerhouse in North America. We're our largest trading partner, as I always say, is our great neighbors to the south, uh, the United States, and I absolutely love our neighbors. But we're, we're, we're doing over a billion dollars a day in two-way trade. If we were a standalone country, Ontario, we'd be the United States' third largest trading partner. And we are an economic powerhouse. We're the number one trading partner to 19 states, number two to nine others. We're gonna continue growing. We're gonna continue supporting companies like Medline and expanding this province because, as I said, I remember through the pandemic, uh, we, we couldn't get supplies off our, our, our close allies, couldn't get supplies overseas. Uh, we'll never be in that position again. And we've learned a lot, a, a tremendous amount, about making sure we, we have the proper supplies and where we're at right now, we can make our own gowns. 
we can make our own surgical masks, we make our own hand sanitizer, and we, we can make uh, pretty well everything right across the, the board from ventilators and so on and so forth. But we couldn't have done it with great, without the great companies like Medline, your leadership, uh, Ernie, from the, the get-go. We're very, very grateful, and I'll wrap up with a story. I remember when I was out there, I, I went out there once and, and uh, we, we couldn't get masks and we couldn't get the gowns and the face shields and so on and so forth. I, I called out for help and within two days on one of my press conferences, I said, if you can manufacture it, we need your support. Within two days, we had 26,000 companies go on our portal. Companies that have never made a face shield in their life. Companies that haven't made surgical masks or, or gowns or, or beverage companies switching over their lines to make hand sanitizer. But that's what the Ontario spirit's all about. That's what makes our, our place right here the greatest place in the world to live, raise a family, and work. So to all the folks at Medline, I want to thank you. Let's keep going. Let's keep adding on additions. Uh, you're just an incredible company, and God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks very much. Thank you, Premier. Just echo the, the access that we had at all levels of government and provinces across the country. I couldn't agree more. Uh, in introducing the Mayor of Guelph, Cam Guthrie, I remember having lunch with him and saying we're going to build this facility, and then the pandemic hit, and we made some commitments to each other, and we got it done. And we could have got it done as fast as we did without uh, your help and your team's help. I'd like to invite the, the Mayor of Guelph to come up and say a few words. Cam? <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> I think I paid for that lunch, by the way. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me here today. And on behalf of the, the City of Guelph and Council uh, and our entire community, Ernie, to you and your team and to Medline, thank you so much for choosing Guelph. Uh, this is exactly the type of uh, not only building and the type of, type of business we're always wanting to welcome here, but it's already been mentioned a few times, and I really challenge everyone as you're leaving to look on that wall over there about the culture that Medline has. This is the type of culture that we want to have in our community as well, because it's not just about the distribution of the products, but this is a great commercial and business that is going to also, and I've already been talking to you about this, giving back to the community in different ways as well. And that culture is what helps uh, everybody in our community as well. Uh, yes, it's one thing to say that the culture of the mayor, you know, pro-business, let's get that shovel in the ground, let's cut the, cut the ribbons is one thing. But it was already mentioned that our team at City Hall in our economic development team did such a great job, and I really do want to make sure that I praise them as well. Um, one of the things I heard when I came in here today is that the team really did help in making sure that this facility got done. Uh, on time is, uh, is important in every business, and to make sure that the culture at City Hall is also recognizing the importance of the business and the speed at which business needs to be done is imperative to make sure that happens, not just for you, but for any business that wants to come to our city. So uh, I am so thrilled about this 600,000 square foot uh, building. It is absolutely massive. It's a lot bigger than I thought from the road. When you get up really close, it's quite big. And uh, the fact that you want to do an extra 200,000 is fantastic. I do have a shovel that is ready to go on that ground at any time that you want, Ernie, for you and your team. And uh, I just want to wish you all the very best, especially to the employees that are here as well. I, I, I want to echo uh, both the Premier's comments and your comments, Ernie, that uh, as many of us were on Zoom calls or doing some other work, uh, you were a key frontline deliverer of services to our entire community in Guelph uh, not, and to the province and to our entire country. Thank you. Thank you so very, very much. Welcome to Guelph, and I can't wait to continue to help you and your team as, uh, as we do the uh, good work here in our community. Thank you again. Thanks again, Ken. Thanks very much. Yeah.